contemplating today's gospel. Liturgical day, third Sunday in ordinary time. The gospel according to Mark. After John had been arrested, Jesus came to Galilee proclaiming the gospel of God. This is the time of fulfillment. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. As he passed by the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting their nets into the sea. They were fishermen. Jesus said to them, Come after me, and I will make you fishers of men. Then they abandoned their nets and followed him. He walked along a little farther and saw James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother John. They too were in a boat mending their nets. Then he called them. So they left their father Zebedee in the boat along with the hired men and followed him. Commentary by Father Luis Roque from Manresa, Spain. Repent and believe in the gospel. Today the church invites us to convert and, with Jesus, is telling us, Repent and believe in the gospel. Therefore, we must heed Jesus Christ while correcting and improving what is necessary. Every human action connects with God's eternal plan for us and the calling to listen to Jesus, to follow Him in everything and for everything, and to proclaim Him as the first disciples did, as millions have done and we strive to do. Now is the opportunity to find God in Jesus Christ. Now is the moment in our lives that connects with either a blissful or a miserable eternity. Now is the time God gives us to encounter Him, to live as His children, and to ensure that daily events carry the divine transcendence that Jesus Christ, with His life through time, has imprinted on them. We cannot miss this opportunity. Our life may be more or less lengthy in time, but will always be too short, for the world in its present form is passing away. Afterward, it will be an eternity with God and His faithful in full life and happiness, or away from God, with the unfaithful, in a life of total darkness. Thus, the hours, days, months, and years are not for wasting, nor for settling down and passing them unnoticed with a futile just getting by. They are for living what Jesus has proclaimed in the saving gospel, here and now, to live in God, loving everything and everyone. And so, those who have loved Mary, Mother of God and Our Mother, the saints, those who have been faithful until the end of earthly life, have been able to hear, Well done, my good and faithful servant. Come, share your Master's joy. Let us convert. It is worth it. We will love and be happy from now on.